Introduction into the topic of queer monstrosity, and I will be also focusing on the Slavic folklore and the Slavic part of the mythology. Are the monsters natural? Are they unnatural, or are they supernatural? Like, what is the what is the status of the monsters, which are connected with the queerness, because the queers are the monsters in most of these stories. There is a lot of queer traits that we can speak about with these monsters. And I love them for that. So I'm playing into this absurdity. I'm also playing into the liminal space in which these creatures reside. Gender is a fiction, transphobia will die. Gender is a fiction, biphobia will die. Gender is a fiction. Look at my queer body. Look at my body's native tongue. Look at how I carry the blood of the colonized as well as the colonizer. I'm gonna repeat this. Look at how I carry the blood of the colonized as well as the colonizer. Okay. 